Yeah, yeah. So, like, I, I told him, I said, you know, the amount of fan mail that, that we got in this, ep- like, from the last episode has been, what do you, I gotta go, we're on. Hey, everyone. What's up, everybody? Man, have we got a show for you today, and, you know, there has been a lot of speculation about the first episode of Cool Beans, and that's fine. They're going to be speculation all you want. But the votes are in. The tally is here. We are still your number one rated show on public access. And you're welcome. You know, you are welcome. Uh, Chet thinks it's sick. Okay, so here's the deal. I was told I got to have some notes. Um, But, man, we have got a show for you today. Uh, It it looks like we have Meeks' back. uh, But what's he reading? Huh? We don't know. We don't know what it is. Uh, and uh, live, like we said last week, our weatherman is here on whether or not. Uh, and, uh, you know, Rad hits us with some of the latest technology that we are just, you, we're just hammering for. We don't know about it, right? And then Colt. Well, the last episode, you guys would have realized Colt had some issues with his microwave. But all that and more on this week's episode of, you know... Whatever the show is, cool beans, I, that whatever. And we are back, everybody. How about that intro? Good job to our audiovisual guy. Steve has made his way from the stream to Cool Beans TV. Steve, welcome aboard. Don't fuck it up because I'm not in charge. Someone's going to fire you. It's not going to be me. Hey, anyways, let's get into it in a little segment I like to call fan mail. That's right, people. We're getting into fan mail. Uh, I've, you, know, you guys had the chance to reach out, and so we're going to read them because we want to stay true to our fans uh without further ado here is some fan mail uh number one hey chet big fan wanted to know what your favorite video game of all time is also what's better original or cool ranch doritos thanks mike from chicago well first of all mike you're from chicago so i'm not really sure i'm supposed to answer this but second of all Anybody knows Cool Ranch, okay? Don't even, you don't even buy the other, you don't even buy the other pack. You just, you just get the Cool Ranch. Uh, and favorite video game of all time, get out of here with that question. Thanks for your email. Number two, hey, longtime supporter, what's your take on arcades no longer a thing? James from LA. Hey, James. Hey, <laughs> James from LA. What are you talking about? What do you mean arcades are not a thing? Arcades are definitely a thing. In fact, I'm pretty sure James from L.A., you guys have barcades out there. So, yeah. Go pay attention to the outside world. Who who, who, who managed to read these? Qu- Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, number three. <laughs> Chet, my headband came in the mail and it's too small. What in the fuck do I do? Bobby from New Jersey. Well, stop gym tan and laundering. Uh, put your ego aside. Maybe your head will fucking shrink. Number four. Um, Chet, what's your take on first-person shooters? Janet from Boston. Okay, Janet from Boston. I like third-person shooters. And name a good first-person shooter that's out right now. Seriously, Janet. What kind of games do you guys have in Boston? God, I swear to God. Margaret, did you read these? <sighs> Next. Hot point. Hot point chat sucks. Go play Warzone. Who the fuck? Randy from LA? Listen up, Randy from LA. Come to my. Come here and say that. You come here and you say that to my face. I'll see you in Warzone, you little.
<laughs> Randy. Hey, Chet. It's my girlfriend's birthday tomorrow. What should I buy her? Matt from Florida. Well, Matt, you could buy her a one-way trip to this place, and uh, I'll date her instead of you. That's the best gift any man could give somebody. Hey, everyone. That's been Fan Mail. <laughs> oh, yeah, so if you if you need to send those emails in, you send them. It's chebmaddox86 at gmail.com. I'm told that's the best place to send email. Um, at least that's what I've... That's what I've been told. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm telling you guys to do. Um, but you know what? Enough of me talking. We, like I said in the beginning, we have a great show for you guys. Um, you know, just we're we're really excited. Colt has his new thing out, Colt Corner, uh, and so Colt, we are going to hand it over to you. Uh, so everybody, I will see you as soon as Colt is done. I hope you enjoy Colt. Over to you, please. Page because I lost it and I. All right, thanks, thanks for thanks for the heads up, chat. Here we go. All right, hello everyone. Welcome to Colt's Corner. I am your host for this segment, Colt Cannon, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, not in front of the microwave, as you can see. Today we are in front of some lovely fireplace type lighting, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. It's quite nice. But without further ado, I wanted to bring you some important life lessons from a pretty well-established philosopher of our of our modern day and age. And uh, I figure, what what better time than now? You know, everyone everyone could use a little bit of nuggets here and there, right? All right, so here we go. Important life lessons—that's what it's called. Here we go. One of the things I can do to help my fellow man is to pass on any valuable life lessons that I've had so you don't have to go through the pain and embarrassment of learning them firsthand. So here's a list of proven facts from my own experience, just in case you were considering trying any stuff. All right. Driving really, really fast on a flat tire will not generate enough centrifugal force to make it round again. This could not be more true. Personal cult story time. Uh, on the highway, this actually just shreds your tire to bits. Uh, and then you can see lovely sparks flying behind you. And then you can learn how to change a tire that day. So if it ever happens, now you know. Never drink hot coffee without your pants on. It's a given. Uh, deodorant does not work after the fact. I can tell you that one's true right now. Uh, never confuse facts with opinions. When a person says, he's my dog, that's a fact. When a person says, he won't bite, that's an opinion. They call it softwood, but it's harder than a human head. I can imagine. Uh, this one's pretty straightforward. Nose hair is flammable. If you've had a beard for more than five years, you should never, ever shave it off. Yes. So much yes. Uh, if if this were to disappear, um, my kid would not know who I am. I I probably wouldn't recognize myself either. And no one wants to see the old baby face. Uh, don't use any recreational or fitness device if the picture on the box shows a guy your son's age. Always live within walking distance of the hospital and the fire station. And, to wrap things up, never take advice from anybody who's never done anything, present company excluded. Um, so there we have it. There's some life lessons on things not not to do. Please please don't do them. If you pick one, don't don't do the... The, the flammable nose hair you don't need to know i guess if you're following along closely enough you'll be living by a fire station in a, in a hospital so more power to you but just don't don't okay thanks chet uh thank you cool beans tv 
and Channel 86 for uh, letting me do this today. And this has been Colt's Corner. We'll see you next time. Wow. The hell was that shit? I would be mad at you, Whitney, because you screwed up with the video, but... Thank Christ you sped that shit up, man. We would have had to sit through that. I don't know what I don't know what it would have been like. <sighs> hey Colt, stick to microwaves, huh? Right back at you there, champ. Um, you know, <clears throat> Meeks was such a hit in the last episode that we decided let's bring Meeks on. But before we get into Meeks minute. I really got to tell you, stick around, and if you haven't subscribed yet, you should probably do that and pay attention and click the little ding a ling a doo ha bell on there, you know, click subscribe. They're free all week. You can, you can click on it. I'm not going to charge you for that shit. Comment below what you think so far of this episode. Really sorry you had to sit through Colt. We're not really sure what the hell that was, um, but, you know, he's got, he's got his place. It is what it is. Um, but you know, Meeks is a Meeks is is his own thing. He's here for Meeks Minute, as it says right there. But we have got something special for you. Turns out we have a new correspondent, Max Power, who's going to be joining the team, and we have a sneak peek. What? what? No, nah, show. Yeah, we're going to show it anyways. Uh, <laughs> we're going to show it after Meeks Minute. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I've been. Yeah, yeah, I've been told that we're going to show it at the end, so stay tuned at the end. Uh, with that being said, Meeks, uh, really excited. I hear you have something uh, you want to read for us today. Uh, and so without further ado, hopefully it's not as boring as uh, what we just heard from Colt. So Meeks, over to you. Oh, hey. Thought I'd get outside and... Uh... Get some fresh air while I read a good book. Come with me now. Get lost in this journey of green eggs and ham. That Sam I am, that Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Oh, will you look at the time? All this talk about green eggs and ham. I sure is hungry. Well, until next time, y'all be good now. All right. Well, I'm not sure you can read that on the air, but thanks for that lovely. Uh, well, I guess you could technically read that on the air. Um, but hey, that was that was great. Um, you know, <clears throat> I'm very excited, very very excited for our next guest. Uh, Coming straight with you with some straight weather, live from I think he said Long Beach because I'm not sure because no one told me shit before I started this show. Uh, coming at you live, straight weather. It's weather or not with Straight Jackson. Straight over to you, my friend. Thanks, Chet. This is Trey Draxon with your daily field weather report. And as you can see, it is absolute shit. That's why I've got my mask on just to avoid breathing it in. All right, Straight Draxon back at you with a, a live action update here. As you can see, we've got some strong rain clouds coming in. It's about a 30% chance of rain. Moving up to about 100 because it's actually raining. So just wanted to check in. If you're in the Long Beach area, make sure to batten down those hatches, people. That this is this is the guy that we brought on for the weather. All right. Uh, looks like it's probably about that time in the show uh, that we get into your favorite all-time rad insights to bring us some of the most edge, jaw-dropping, 
technology that we have ever seen. So, Rad, over to you, please. Hey, thanks, Chet. Um, sorry to be so quiet and secretive here, but this is a... Uh... This is some some top secret information here that's been shared with me. As you know, I always bring you the latest and greatest inside scoops in the entertainment, electronics, and gaming industry. And I just got my hands on something that no one else has their hands on. Deep insider information on a gaming machine of some type. I, I'm not quite sure, but I got my hands on a controller, if you will, for this this gaming machine that I've been told is going to be gigantic. It's going to be huge. So let me show you this real quick. It seems to be some type of prototype. As you can see here, it's square, gray and black. Um, two red buttons, two black buttons. It's like a start select with some type of joystick and it plugs into some type of machine um, but again this is supposed to be big and I'm glad that I was able to share this with you guys first here on Rad Insights. I will update everyone as more details trickle in but again this is Rad with the latest and greatest news and I'll continue to keep this team posted for more insider information. Thanks, Chet. Wow, that is exciting, people. Can you believe that? First-hand insider look at whatever the hell that controller was. Maybe next week we'll get a look at something else in regards to that controller. Guys, <clears throat> you know, we're just starting, and it's already, as, as you've said, you know, it's... It's already voted the number one show on public access, guys. We really appreciate it. I know you guys have all been sticking around, and I'm happy to be your host, as always, because you need something good to look at in between shit segments. Uh, I'm here. You know, I'm excited. It's great. It's great being here. Uh, you know? You're probably enjoying yourself. You're probably thinking to yourself, Chet, what about that new guy? You know? Uh, I'm being told that we 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 probably shouldn't show this, but I believe in giving everyone a chance. You know, you want to come here? You want to make something out of yourself? You want to try to take on the old Chet Maddox guy? Huh? All right. So, guys, here's your first look. At Max Powers, and I want to thank you for sticking around. On this second episode of Cool Beans TV with Chet and Friends. And so I'll see you next time. So we're going to hand this off. Max Powers, welcome to the team. Thank you. Let's do it. Max Powers, people. What the actual...